For questions that ask you to rank Lewis acids and bases, which are the acids and bases without protons or hydroxides, I'm going to show you a trick to quickly and easily rank them every time. Acids are generally partially or formally positively charged atoms or molecules, whereas bases are generally partially or formally negatively charged atoms or molecules. Lewis acids are lone pair acceptors, meaning they're atoms or molecules that do not have full octets and can accept a lone pair in bond formation. Lewis acids can also be positively charged atoms or molecules that can accept a lone pair and form a bond with a Lewis base. So it's easy to deduce that Lewis bases are lone pair donors. They donate their lone pair to form bonds with Lewis acids. Lewis bases can also be negatively charged atoms or molecules, and having a negative charge simply means they have an extra lone pair to contribute to forming a bond with a Lewis acid. Acids and bases behave according to the opposites attract phenomenon, and the stronger the positive or negative, the more attraction there is between an acid and base, which leads us into inductive effects to help us determine the strength of Lewis acids and bases. The two possible inductive effects that can occur within an acid or base compound is electron withdrawing effects and electron donating effects, all due to electronegativity of the atoms that are in that compound. Let's compare these two Lewis acids where the aluminum atom in each compound is the acidic atom because it does not have a full octet. In the right side molecule, there's a chlorine attached to the aluminum, and chlorine is more electronegative than aluminum, which causes electron withdrawing effects, meaning chlorine will pull electrons away from the aluminum toward itself, making that aluminum more partially positively charged, which makes it more attractive to a Lewis base and more likely to accept except its lone pair, meaning more acidic. Therefore, it is the stronger acid. When there are atoms that are more electronegative than the acidic atom in a compound, that causes an electron withdrawing effect away from the acidic atom, making it more positive and more acidic. So the more arrows you have pointing away from the acidic atom, the stronger the acid. Now let's rank these three Lewis acids where boron is the acidic atom in each compound. On the left side, we only have hydrogens attached to the boron. In the center, we have one fluorine attached to the boron, which creates electron withdrawing effects, which makes a partially positive charged boron. On the right side, we have two fluorines attached to the boron, which creates twice the amount of electron withdrawing effects, which makes an even greater partially positively charged boron, making it the strongest acid. So the more electron withdrawing groups you have on an acidic atom, the stronger of an acid. Or just see it as the more arrows you have pointing away from the acidic atom, the stronger the acid. In these two compounds where boron is again the acidic atom, the left side has a chlorine attached to it and the right side has a fluorine attached to it. Fluorine is more electronegative than chlorine, which would create a greater withdrawing effect, making the boron on the right side with the fluorine even more partially positively charged than the boron on the left side, making it a stronger acid. So the more electronegative a withdrawing group is, the stronger of an acid. Or just see it as the bigger the arrow that points away from the acidic atom, the stronger the acid. Here's two Lewis acids to compare, where the positively charged carbon on each of them is the acidic atom. They both have hydroxyl groups. Oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon, so it has a withdrawing effect away from the positively charged carbon. But on the right side, the hydroxyl is closer to the acidic atom, which means it'll have a stronger withdrawing effect of electrons away from the positively charged carbon, making it a stronger acid. So the closer the inductive effect of the electronegative group to the acidic atom, the stronger of an acid. Or you could say the closer the arrows pointing away from the acidic atom, the stronger the acid. With Lewis bases, it's the same arrow trick, but in the opposite direction, because we're going to be looking at electron donating groups toward 
the basic atom. And we do this because generally in bases, the basic atom is more electronegative than the other atoms it's attached to. Unlike in acids, where the acidic atom is less electronegative than the atoms that it's attached to. In these three basic compounds where nitrogen with the lone pair is the basic atom, notice that the compound on the left has one carbon attached to the nitrogen. Carbon is less electronegative than nitrogen, meaning nitrogen being more electronegative than the carbon will withdraw electrons from the carbon, making carbon the electron donating group, so the arrow will point toward the nitrogen. The electron donating inductive effects will make the nitrogen a little bit more negative. But in the compound in the middle, there are two carbons attached to the nitrogen, which means two times the amount of electron donating effect onto the nitrogen, making it even more negative. And then in the third compound, we have three carbons attached to the nitrogen, which is three times the electron donating effect, which makes this nitrogen the most negative, which means it would be most attractive to a Lewis acid. Therefore, the most basic, making it, the strongest base. So when there are atoms that are less electronegative than the basic atom in a compound, that causes an electron donating effect toward the basic atom, making it more negative and therefore more basic. Basically, that means the more arrows you have pointing toward the basic atom, the stronger the base. Let's look at these two compounds, where the basic atom in each of them is the negatively charged carbon. In the left compound, the negatively charged carbon has one other carbon attached to it, which has an electron donating effect toward it, making that carbon a little bit more negative. Whereas in the right compound, there's two other carbons that cause electron donating effects onto the negatively charged carbon, making it even more negative and therefore a stronger base. The more electron donating groups there are attached to the basic atom, the stronger of a base. Or think of it as the more arrows pointing toward the basic atom, the stronger the base. In these two basic compounds where the negatively charged oxygen is the basic atom in each, on the left side we have two carbon groups that have an electron donating effect toward the negatively charged oxygen. Whereas on the right side, we have three carbon groups and an attached carbon that all have a donating effect toward the oxygen, making it even more negative and therefore the stronger base. Once again, the more electron donating groups there are on the basic atom, the stronger of a base. Or again, the more arrows pointing toward the basic atom, the stronger the base. Simple as that.